After a recent unintentional attack on my character, I do think it's time that I come clean to you guys about my content strategy. What am I even doing here on YouTube talking about Airbnb in the first place? Yes, I make millions of dollars on Airbnb, I have for years, but now yes, I'm also making millions of dollars a year on my content. And I need to be honest with you about that. I think it's important. For the sake of transparency, this is my life as a content creator, and this is why I make the content that I do. The stuff that's free and the stuff that's not, and what I'm trying to pull off here on YouTube. Let's go. Welcome back, YouTube world. You know how they say nothing's ever free? Well, kind of in a way, that's true. If for just only the reason of YouTube ads, I'm making eight to $12,000 a month off of YouTube ads. Way cool, so I give you free content, no skin off my back, really, it's not so bad. Still doesn't pay for this way cool penthouse, but it's a start. Yes, I've been creating content about Airbnb for six years, I've been doing it for eight. I've had more than 100 Airbnbs since before COVID hit, so this has been my game big time. I very intentionally give away a lot of free content, and it's a little underhanded depending on who you are. So some of you are really going to hate the truth about this. Sorry, but it's actually probably only going to be a few of you who really hate what I'm about to say. And disclaimer, if you really want to know everything about my content creation, I've launched a new YouTube channel called The Gladiator Method. I'm going to be talking about my webinar strategies, my content strategies, my hook strategies, my shotgun approach to content, all the little stuff that I either do from copying people or the stuff I've made up. So there's going to be way more there if you're interested in how I create my content and have created this world that I have based off the content. Now, the reason why I believe in free content is it's really hard to argue with free content. There's a lot of people on the internet who want to make money off of content and they come at the YouTube world or the Instagram, TikTok world so fast with their hands out like, hey, I'm an expert, pay me for my knowledge. And by doing this right away, it's disingenuous and you never build a relationship with an audience. The stronger party, the content creator being the stronger party should be giving first and be giving often and build a real true trust relationship. And then at certain points you can monetize your audience and it's gonna be a fair exchange. I had a recent talk with my content team about this because there's some really stupid creators in the space. And you know, because of the nature of this video, I'm just gonna call it as I see it. This guy Cheetah, I, nobody should trust him. There's this guy off of TikTok, I can't even remember his name. He said, fuck you, Sean, in three separate videos because he was mad at me. There's a bunch of people running these five day boot camps and a bunch of people running paid ads. Even Rob Bilt is running ads, you know, because they're trying to sell something and they think that they should run ads to sell something. But like I said in a previous video, the moment you start running Facebook ads is the moment you start running risk on your education products. Education products are some of the most profitable products in the world. When I sell a course that I already recorded, it costs me $0 to sell it. My margin is nearly 100% minus admin costs for my team, content creation team, and any sales guide that helped me sell the content to a person maybe. So my margins are like 80 plus percent. But the moment I run Facebook ads, is the moment I can burn $100,000 in a month and not get any sales because the ad sucked. And there are so many creators that run that risk. I'm not saying that everyone who runs Facebook ads or YouTube ads lacks integrity, but try challenging your integrity when you're losing $100,000 at a time, right? You're gonna do some stuff you never thought you would do, and I never wanna be in that position to ever challenge my integrity, to do something more pushy, to sell a product, to make up for lost ad spend something like that. Now what this creates though, where there's a world of people who are like, hey, look at me, let me run these ads, try to get you into my funnel, when they have such a small relationship with the person that doesn't even know them, right? Let's say, for example, I ran an ad and you've never known me before and I'm trying to pitch you on Airbnb, something like that. Well, what'll happen is you may or may not click on whatever I wanted you to click on, but now I've planted a seed in your head that maybe short-term rentals is a good idea. There's tons of people on the planet doing that right now. And what this does in contrast is if I don't click on your ad and then I don't click on your funnel and I don't buy your product, you put me onto a topic where I might go do my own research, right? You have an ever-closing window of time. You have an ad you need to strike, you need to sell, you need to be pushy. But what happens is if there's dozens of people like that and there's only a couple creators like myself who put out a ton of value, all the more discerning people on the internet who don't wanna buy some creepy person's product because they ran an ad, but still wanna research the market will end up finding my content. So this creates an inverse relationship. If somebody runs an ad, they have to sell as fast as possible. If I wanna build a relationship with somebody and then have them learn from me for free and maybe attend an event that I throw or buy a webinar seat eventually, the more time I take, the better. The more time that they take, the worse it is for them. So people get pushier and I get to relax. What happens is these guys are building my own funnel for me. I don't have to try to get people into the Airbnb space anymore because there's a lot of opportunity pitch persons doing that. If I make content for Airbnb hosts for free, I get to build real relationships based on real value and real trust. And I can really focus on just being the best at this, not being the best marketer. And so what happens then, Airbnb bust happens, winter release happens, algorithm changes, people need to cut their cleaning fee out and they need fast facts. I can run two webinars and make $120,000 
in two webinars where the tickets were 80 or 160 bucks a piece. And I got paid for that. I made over $100,000 in the last three weeks on webinar seats, teaching stuff that I'm very good at because they stayed in my lane and it focused on giving value. This isn't overfishing the waters of the community because it's stuff they needed to do now. It was a very small price and people will come back for more as long as they delivered value that time. And I can just keep delivering content now. So what I'm saying is my content strategy is to give free value to become the best in the space, the irrefutable best in the space, so nobody can argue with that. Nobody can challenge that. And if somebody wants to challenge my integrity and say that I'm pitching a bad opportunity to sell course seats, no, I'm not. I'm dedicating my life to making sure that hosts still got a business and when they need me bad enough that something can be paid for, I get to make that exchange and I get to set the price on that exchange. I don't need to push anybody into the short-term rental market. There's enough pitchers out there that are pitching it for me. I don't need to do that legwork. Now, what this does look like, I get a lot of DMs for people who like, I paid Cheetah $20,000 and he screwed me or he tried to make me pay $50,000, or I paid Brian Page's course and it was the worst idea ever, or even people disappointed about Rob Bilt's course. I get DMs all the time about people who paid for a product, didn't know what they were getting themselves into because they don't know enough about the industry. We can't always blame the course salesperson, but also the person who wasn't ready for the product. There's a mismatch there. And because of the lack of apprehension, people are buying stuff from coaches that aren't good teachers. Ta-da, this is what the landscape brings. But then they come to me and they get free value. They may or may never buy a product of mine, but they're like, wow, I got more value for free from Sean's YouTube channel than the course I paid for. And so next thing you know, what do they do? They go run around telling all their friends, I learned how to Airbnb for free on YouTube. I bought this course and it sucked and Sean's content for free is better. That's the best content strategy I could ever think of on the planet, and I'm running with it. I call this method the gladiator method, hence the name of my YouTube channel. Now I am doing more webinars now because there are so many people entering the space that know not much and have given away so much value for free that I'm identifying little pockets of value where I can charge for efficiencies. One of my next webinars that I'm actually really excited about is one about hiring housekeepers. Now, you might be surprised that the two webinars that I did where I made over $100,000 in webinar sales were basic webinars. We're talking low level content. And a lot of you might go, wow, that content was insane and you call that basic. Yeah. Yeah, I call that basic. I'm going to be doing another pricing webinar that uses wheelhouse, multi-channel distribution, so pricing to Airbnb and Verbo and really nerdy stuff, but that's the high level one. I'm still doing basic stuff. Now, the one I'm doing on hiring housekeepers, how to recruit, train, maintain, quality control, operate a whole team of housekeepers, a team that you could sell to other Airbnb hosts and start a housekeeping business and diversify your business, that's high level stuff. That's gonna go in my mastermind one day. I'm doing this day-long bootcamp on how to train recruit housekeepers and how to run that whole model. You can attend that, but there won't be a recording for it. So if you don't attend it, there won't be a way to get the recording for it later. There isn't a pre-sale, post-sale like my other basic products. That thing is gonna get locked away until I make a mastermind. That's another part of my content strategy is I've got this mastermind I'm working on that if you make seven figures or more in the space, then you can be part of a different group. Because my philosophy of masterminds is you have to be a master to start a mastermind. And I'm not gonna fill a mastermind with a bunch of hopefuls. We're gonna require seven figures or better. And because of my trust in this industry, I know dozens of seven figure earners in the Airbnb space and we chat all the time. They would love to kick it in a mastermind and that will be expensive because they can afford it. So free content for tens of thousands of people, $80, $150 content for thousands or hundreds of people, thousand dollar plus content for tens and tens and tens of people, and a mastermind for the solid few who've already built a big empire and are looking for networking, looking for good referrals, looking for people who challenge them, looking for a real peer group that they can actually confess what their problems are and get real solutions and take their business from seven to eight or nine figures. That's my content strategy. I'm giving away value quite intentionally. And what was so cool is I was listening to Alex Ramosi talk one day and I'm like, oh my God, he just said the same thing. He's like, I'm gonna give you free content so that way you build a business big enough that I can invest in it. I don't wanna invest in your business. Sorry guys, that's not my model, but I'm giving away free content to destroy the rest of the Airbnb content community if those people are ones who have their hand out first. There are a small group of people who do give free value and actually care about the community and they're here, they're around, but people who run paid ads, I will never endorse. People who try to flaunt their lamp house or sit in some like, super nice car and try to say, look at me, motivational speech, never give any content away for free. I will just troll them because they're bad people. They're bad leaders. My content strategy is to be the good one in a sea of bad influencers. Hopefully you can understand me, guys. And I'd love to have you around. I know that I can be offensive sometimes. I can be arrogant sometimes. Yeah, even sometimes I can be combative, which can be fun though, which can be fun depending on what mood you're in. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, guys, I will see you on the other side.